गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस व्हाट इज प्रोपेलर शाफ्ट व्हाट इज यूनिवर्सल जॉइंट एंड वी हैव इंट्रोडक्शन वी हैव स्टार्टेड इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डिफरेंशियल व्हाट इज द पर्पज ऑफ डिफरेंशियल जस्ट वी विल सी व्हाट वी हैव लर्न here mainly the before in propeller shaft we have seen the what is how the propeller shaft has evolved because uh, in past how the automobile has developed over the years there is need for a transmission system which is not noisy which is reliable which is not cumbersome and heavy okay there are some disadvantages of a previous drives such as chain drive which is used in automobile okay but um, in 1887 lanchester of britain has developed a propeller shaft and louis renault of france has used the propeller shaft first time practically okay and he also incorporated universal joint and also patented rear axle okay all these developments um, done by lanchester renault um, propeller shaft universal joint and rear axle still means universally accepted and being used in cars and trucks with some modification today itself okay now uh, we have seen why what is the function of propeller shaft the most important function is to receive the power from the gearbox output shaft and without any change in speed transmit to the input of pinion of the differential as well as it must be have to cope up with the difference in line and level of the gearbox output shaft and differential input pinion shaft because when vehicle is moving there is movement of your differential or rear axle and that and the position of the gearbox output shaft and the differential input shaft is fixed only there is scope to change the length of the propeller shaft and angle and this can be achieved with the help of slip joint and union joint we have seen last lecture this just uh, in animation Uh, we are seeing there is up and down motion of this differential due to uneven road surface and the gear box one end and differentials one end all these are fixed and there is only the scope for uh, adjusting the length and this is the angular position where two universal joints are used and one Uh, slip joint arrangement is there okay and we have seen there are two types of propeller shaft first is torque tube type propeller shaft and second is hotchkiss type propeller shaft already we have discussed this after that we have seen universal joint okay this universal joint purpose is uh, to transmit a power from gear box to propeller shaft when the two shafts are having some angular position and we have to transmit a constant power or the velocity must be same okay we have to there should not be any change in velocity that is done by this universal joint and we can also say it as a hooks joint okay there is a yoke and the spider two yokes are there and one common part that is called spider here one universal joint for gear box and propeller shaft 
and next another pro another universal joint at the end of the propeller shaft and input of the differential shaft okay mm, we have seen this and again we have seen there are number of universal joint first is uh, universal joint or hook joint uh, and it is improved by a robert hook who has identified the gap of previous uh, inventor of the joint that is cardono cardono and mm, he identified that this joint is not able to transmit or maintain constant velocity and he has improved it okay by using two cardone joints offset by 90 degree and he achieve the constant velocity and even mm, here is an example already you have studied hook joint in machine drawing subject as well as some part in design and theory of machines here is the double cardino universal joint we have discussed this this is very interesting mm, here one end the length is adjusted okay this is nothing but a slip joint or slip yoke okay and two cardino joints or are space in between in this slip yoke we have already discussed this this is uh, more expensive as compared to other universal joint but it is uh, it has produce minimum noise and vibration and that's why accepted in uh, automobiles as well as we have seen bendix wix universal joint ball and trunnion joint and we have also discussed how to make a maintenance of propeller shaft especially you have to check a propeller shaft and as well as you have to make a service okay we have seen all these things during last week and we have just started a differential okay uh, differential is located um, at the rear axle or uh, at the uh, rear part of the uh, automobile when the vehicle is rear axle driven means the engine it as front and power is transmitted from engine to gearbox and from gearbox to propeller shaft and propeller shaft to the differential and the differential is mounted on the rear axle and just you will see uh, here is the propeller shafts one end universal joint and here at the rear part there is a differential and the power is given to the wheel and we know uh, this differential as having um, main function is when the vehicle is on road and it is straight driving then um, this um, there will be same constant speed is needed to both the wheels okay but when the vehicle is turning then the outer distance outer wheel has to travel more distance as compared to inner wheel if and this rear axle or rear drive is a live axle and uh, it is uh, there may be a chances of skidding or there may be possibility that the rear wheel uh, have must have some arrangement and that arrangement is done by this differential okay uh, we have seen how uh, this differential is uh, we will see uh, when um, the vehicle is moving straight then the differential will not function okay in case it will 
effect only when there is a turning okay just uh, we will see how it works once again uh, here uh, this is mm, a propeller shaft and this will be the rear axle rear axle is divided in two half shaft this red angle here the color shown is red half half axle and this is one other half axle means uh, this uh, rear axle is divided in two parts okay or two halves now uh, when as we are seeing the power from the propeller shaft is given this is the crown wheel okay the power is given to the crown wheel and when the crown wheel is rotated this differential cage is rotated okay this differential cage this is the differential cage and the power is given to this bevel pinion these are the bevel pinions the small gears are bevel pinion and the gear the another part of the bevel gear which is mounted on these halves is called as the sun gear okay as uh, these are fixed and these um, bevel pinion gears are rotating about this sun gear okay there there, there, is, there is a two um, sun gears called as and this is the bevel gears and the power is transmitted from the crown gear to the cage cage to the fast bevel turning pinion and again then it to the um, this sun gear okay and it is this when the vehicle is moving in a straight path then there is uh, the same speed or the same power transmitted to the crown gear will be transmitted to both the um, half axles okay but when the vehicle is moving or turning at that point um, um, the inner distance inner wheel has require less has to require less distance as compared to outer distance or outer shaft okay so outer shaft require more power okay means um, here um, the power is given or the more this speed is suppose this is a capital n rpm then um, at the where we require more um, distance to travel it will be capital n plus small n rpm okay and the other side it will be reduced by small n rpm okay um, and the direction of this uh, uh, sun gear will rotate opposite to each other okay just uh, see that's why there will be the reduce in the speed okay just we will see um, here the power is coming um, from the propeller shaft here will be the crown gear and these um, red color um, bevel pinion gear and this blue color is the sun gear okay and uh, at the time of turning the direction of rotation of this uh, uh, blue color or sun gear is um, either increase or decrease according where we are going to turn the vehicle okay the more power is given where um, there is um, the distance uh, required is more okay so um, we will learn more about this 
in our next video thank you